cover of our program, huh? Wow. We have uh, fans lined up to take questions from you. What has it been like as we get okay. set to hear from them? What's it been like meeting them and seeing so many of them here with you here at Comic Con? I, uh, amazing. Uh, thank you all for being here. Backstory behind uh, how Doc and Marty met. How come we did not get much of a backstory of how Doc and Marty met? That's a good one. Yeah, I, um, that's just to say, because there was never any kind of set, you know, this was Marty's life before or Doc's. They just began the first cut of the first movie. <laughs> just like, uh, I don't know what Doc, Doc may have emerged from. Uh, I have to look into it. <laughs> yeah, the 80s movies were not very big on context. <laughs> we'll go to the other side, please, if you have a question. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily have a question, um, but I, I just wanted to say, I first watched Back to the Future when I was seven years old in 2008, I guess, and I just wanted to say that that movie completely changed my life. And you had a profound impact on me and my wife's choices. Majors in physics and acting and a minor in filmmaking. And I, I owe it all to you. you. You inspired me profoundly, and I thank you so much for that. Wow. Always. Yeah, really. yeah. When you could stop on the street and you could tell stories like that, what does that do for you? Well, I, I've done it, you know, quite a few movies and whatever, but none has approached the kind of a gratitude. So many people have seen these films, her uh, stories come back. Um, so many today fans will say, you, you made my childhood, remarks like that. And so many people have told me, like yourself, they were inspired to be a doctor, a surgeon, an engineer, uh, a scientist, on and on and on and on. And it just, I'm very proud to be a part of uh, this enterprise at the future. Thank you so much for so many people. And, uh, Michael, Michael and Doc, you know, Michael says the same thing, just, just, uh, you know. So I'm uh, grateful to, to be a part of that. They truly are timeless, and I know we have so many fans of the movies, and you have a question for us. Uh, yeah, actually, Clue is my favorite movie of all time. I was just wondering what it was like working on that set. What was it like working on the set of Clue? I mean, that was pretty early in my film life, and uh, to, to work with such an incredible group of actors, you know? Each, each one of them was a star in his own, in their own right. Uh, and and uh, 
so that and the talent of that part. There was a wonderful British director, I, I don't recall his name, but it was a true ensemble. You know, it, that used to be an ideal in the, in the theater. I did a lot of theater uh, to get a group of people together that could do eight plays a season, and they could all find and flexible enough to find different roles, and that was, you know, and work together. And that was an ideal, an ensemble. And Clue was a true ensemble. I mean, we were such a diverse group, and, but we loved the story, loved the script, and uh, it was great. Thank you. Scott, close up the middle. Right, Scott! <laughs>